Welcome to the Azeron keypad setup video. The package includes the Azeron keypad, USB cable, quick guide, spare screws including one for the little tower, Azeron screwdriver, thumbstick caps, and restrictor ring. The included caps can be swapped just by pulling them off easily. The package includes three different length caps. Adjust the keypad to your hand by loosening the screws. Release these screws to change the angle between towers. Loosen the screws just enough to move the towers. Do not screw them completely out. Remember to set the little screw to adjust the little tower. Once done adjusting, be sure to tighten both the screws on each rail. Loosen these screws to adjust the distance between the palm rest and the key towers. By releasing these screws, you can adjust different tilting angles of the towers. These screws are for adjusting the angle of the tower top buttons. By releasing this screw, you can adjust tilting angles of the thumbstick module. Loosen this screw to rotate the thumbstick. You can also adjust the thumbstick distance. Cyborg includes an elevation plate by default. By having it removed, you can reduce the height of the palm rest. Once the keypad is adjusted, make sure you can comfortably reach all the buttons. Visit azeron.eu slash downloads and get the latest Azeron software. Install it on your PC. Plug the keypad in the PC using the provided USB cable. Be sure to plug the USB all the way into the keypad. Once done, the LED light will turn on. Launch the Azeron software. It will automatically connect to the keypad. The software will check if the keypad has the latest firmware. If not, the software will automatically ask you to update the keypad. In case you need to update the firmware, it will look like this. Choose the firmware type you wish to install. Pick PC Base for PC or XIM. If you wish to use the keypad with the game console using an XIM adapter, press the Update button. When the software asks you to reboot the keypad, press the Reset button at the bottom of the keypad. After a successful firmware update, the software will ask to calibrate the thumbstick. It must be done after each software or firmware installation. Press Begin Calibration. Do not touch the thumbstick for the first few seconds. When prompted, slowly move the thumbstick in full circles until it stops calibrating. When the process is finished, press Save. You can put the restrictor ring to reduce the motion range of the thumbstick. Change the movement direction faster with the shorter thumbstick commands. This works great in fast-paced FPS games. Should you decide to put on the restrictor ring, you'll have to adjust the upper dead zone of the thumbstick. Click on the thumbstick button in the Azeron software and change the upper dead zone to 120. Two profiles are available in the onboard memory of the keypad. Press on next to the onboard memory in the Azeron software. Switch between profiles by simply pressing the profile button on the keypad. Now you can set up keybinds to your liking. Simply click a button and assign a keybind by pressing the button on your keyboard. Assign keys on the five-way switch. Thumbstick can be set up as an Xbox analog stick, analog joystick, or keyboard WASD. You can also press the thumbstick and bind it as a key. Have fun gaming!